Hello, and welcome to this video cast on setting up and using Retail Tower's Feed Manager feature on Shopify. I'm Brian Gavron, and I'll be taking you through three processes. First, installing the Feed Manager on your Shopify store. Second, setting up your FTP account details with a price comparison engine and entering the details on your settings panel. And third, sending feeds with the Feed Manager. This video is customized only for Shopify store owners. For retailers using other platforms like Magento, OS Commerce, or PrestaShop, contact us at demo at retailtower.com for a scheduled demo on how to set up the feed manager with your online store. Now, how to install the feed manager. Find Retail Tower's feed manager on the Shopify app store by entering apps.shopify.com slash retail tower. As you can see, you find the feed manager app on the Shopify apps store. In here, you can read more about our product description and also find more support materials. Click on the Install App link to install the Feed Manager. Enter your store URL and then Install. The first point after installation is the welcome screen. For first-time users, you may proceed by clicking on the Click Here to Start link, which takes you to your dashboard. There are help and support materials to assist you in using the application. You may also find live support and email ticketing support system here. After reading the help materials, we now proceed to the settings page to set up our channel details. This is where you enter your FTP account details given to you by your channel or price engine. You need to register with these engines first before proceeding to this page. Many of these engines have their own setup requirements. Some are paid and others free. Read more about these price engines before registering with them. After registering with these engines, they provide you with at least three basic things. An FTP username, an FTP password, and a feed name. This may, however, differ from engine to engine. For those who have not used any of these engines before, let me take you through a brief registration process using Google Product Search as an example. To submit a feed to Google Product Search or any other price engine, you need to register with them first. From the Google Product Search page, click on Information for Merchants. Select Start a Data Feed. Here, you are prompted to enter the file name. For the purpose of this demo, we'll use the default title. After saving the changes, select Settings in the left navigation panel and insert your FTP details. Now that we've started a data feed with Google Product Search, we can return to the Retail Tower account. Enter these details here on the channel settings page. Save your settings, then proceed to the sheet to tell us the frequency at which you want us to retrieve inventory from your store and select an import option. The first option will always replace your inventory on our system with a fresh copy while the second option will only update new inventory. Import and merge with existing feed is a recommended option. Save your settings, then proceed to the feed manager to create your first feed. Click on the feed manager. You're prompted to open a save campaign or start a new campaign. As a first time user, you will start a new campaign. Select your preferred channel or price engine and click Submit. You're now at your Feed Manager panel. As you can see, your products from your Shopify store are pulled in here. Let me point out that if you make a change to the data in your Feed Manager panel, the changes do not affect your store's data. Let me take you through the two basic steps of feed creation. First, categorization, and second, saving and sending. For your product feeds to be fully optimized, you have to place each product under the desired category. 
Product categorization differs from engine to engine. We've provided a category wizard specific to each channel to aid you in categorizing your products. Make sure all products are categorized as you desire. As you can see here, I'm categorizing and further subcategorizing these products. With the Sony camera watch, I'm classifying it under the parent as cameras and optics, and then as a camera under subcategory 1. As a digital camera under subcategory 2, and so on and so forth. For help on proper categorization of products, submit a ticket through the Help tab. You can also perform mass editing when you select multiple products and edit them. Columns marked with the asterisk symbol are required fields. Make sure these fields are not left empty as they are highly recommended by engines for proper feed optimization. After working on this particular feed, save it by clicking the Save Campaign button and providing the campaign name. This only helps you identify your saved work. We've provided a default name for your work. You may change it to suit you. After saving, you get a success message telling you to proceed to the dashboard to send feed. At this point, your feed is only saved onto the dashboard but not submitted yet. You still have the option to switch to another channel campaign by clicking on the Switch Channel button. If not, proceed to the dashboard to see the status of the feed saved. Currently, the saved feed is only in our system. You may finally submit the feed by clicking the Submit button, or you may cancel the feed. By canceling a feed, you delete the work done on that feed. You may always go back to use the same campaign for a new channel. A success message is shown after a successful submission. If you receive an unsuccessful message, it is most likely due to wrong FTP details entered at the channel settings page. Correct your FTP details or send a ticket to us at the help page if you have problems with unsuccessful submissions. Typically, it takes one to two days for feeds to reflect on the price engines. Some engines may require the HTTP location of your feed. On the settings page, the HTTP location for your feed is also generated. You can copy the location and supply it to an engine if required. So in today's video, we've walked through installing Retail Tower's Feed Manager on your Shopify store setting up an account with the price engine and entering it on the settings page, and finally using the feed manager to create and submit feeds. Thank you. You can find more help videos and touch www.retailtower.com. Thank you.